Hey everybody, this is Ken Haskins with CMSWebsites.net and in this tutorial I wanted to help those who might have updated their iPhone, iPod, or iPad to the iOS 7 update from Apple which caused many people to lose the ability to play many of their songs especially uh, music that they hadn't purchased from iTunes to begin with and this update has been the worst update I have ever seen and People are still, thousands of people are still frustrated with this update because they cannot find a way to solve this issue of their music, of not being able to play music that they didn't purchase from iTunes on their mobile device. And so the same thing happened for me. I've been frustrated since I updated my mobile devices there and I gave up for a long period of time and then I just started searching around the other day and I found a solution to my problem and so I thought I would make a video that would actually help people to solve their issue if they're having the same problem as well still so that they can go on about their business and never update their mobile device from Apple again so anyways um, as you can see here what I noticed the update caused the problem that it caused rather is that it caused a division between the music that you purchased from iTunes and the music that you did not purchase from iTunes and as you can see the music here that's in black uh, that's stuff that I purchased from iTunes but this stuff that's grayed out here and it has the red circle is and square uh, there that's music that I did not purchase from iTunes and if I try to play it it's going to skip over the song all together and go to a song that the device recognizes as a, I guess a legit iTunes purchase so anyways this has been a frustrating situation but needless to say the fix is is actually a simple one and what you need to do is go back to your home screen go to your settings scroll down a little bit until you get to this section here where it says iTunes and App Store and in this section here you want to turn off your music as well as your videos there and when you go back to your music app as you can see all those um, grayed out boxes or music selections disappeared and what you're going to need to do is basically connect your mobile device with your iTunes on your uh, main computer and you're going to basically either need to create a new playlist or transfer that music over to your mobile device so that your mobile device is updated with that music again so basically what you're gonna to need to do is recreate everything you know from your um, uh, from your playlist folder uh, you may even have to upload some of your iTunes um, music again as well because that's what I had to do with certain videos and music that I had for that I did purchase from iTunes and so anyways Hopefully this helped you uh, the way that it's helped me. I'm very happy now that I'm able to play my music again. And I will never, ever, 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 ever update my mobile device again with Apple. As a matter of fact, I might be moving on. This update has been such a frustrating one, a ridiculous update, that I may just move on from Apple products altogether as far as this stuff until they get their act together. And who knows, it may not have been their fault. Who knows, but I know just from reading a lot of the comments, Apple has not come up with the solution for this issue either. So and if the issue if the, the solution was this simple, they could have been come out with this solution and put all of this issue to rest. But instead, people have had to find their way through the forest in order to, you know, find a solution to this their issue. But anyway, that's my rant for the day. Hopefully this video helped you out. My name is Ken Haskins. I'm with CMSWebsites.net. Please subscribe. Till next time.